We're done with Capri. We're waiting for our boat back to Naples, and then we're gonna move on to the Amalfi Coast. These guys are gonna go back Probably. home. See you, Matt. Yep. And Robert and I are gonna go to the Amalfi Coast. We're on the way to Positano, and I believe that's Mount Vesuvius right there. All right, well, we're in Positano, and we're way up here on the mountain. It's looking pretty cool. So Positano, it seems like every hotel is completely booked here. It is crazy, but we are able to get an actual hotel in Amalfi. So that's where we're headed to Amalfi, which is up the road a bit. One thing I just want to say about the Amalfi Coast is it is very narrow roads, it's a very narrow city, and you're on cliffs and stuff, and it's kind of interesting, but it's um, it's definitely a little bit than just dri different than just driving around a regular city because it's so narrow, because you're like on these houses and hotels right on the side of a mountain. Amalfi Coast City model of the city here. It looks like they even have a nativity scene here. That's, this is not where the nativity was though, because that's in Israel, we know that. But it still looks pretty cool. There you are at the hotel. How are you? Fine, and you? Yeah, very good, very good. Nice to drive here. <laughs> little, roads are a little narrow. But it's okay. Beautiful, beautiful uh, on the coast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, we're gonna grab some lunch. We are in a mafi. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. We've been trying to check it out. Yeah, because we've been trying to get here for a couple of years now. Because of COVID, we couldn't. But now we're here, and we're gonna be loving life. It's a lot of chocolate in the store. People at the beach today. There you got it. The Amalfi Coast. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you not Not sure if you can get the feel for the, from this video But that is way up there, that cross That is one tall mountain <laughs> Alright, on the boat <laughs> beach and one of the things is it's a little dark out right now I'm going to show you how cloudy it is but we're hoping that it actually gets a little better what do you think Robin yeah awesome so this is where we are at that beach it's really just called duo I'm not even going to try to pronounce the full name Lunch at the Amalfi. What could be better? A healthier option here. We're not going to eat the mozzarella, but this plate looks like it's full of great vegan options.
We are done with the beach. We're ready to look for something for supper, right? Yeah. What are you looking forward to tonight? Probably another eggplant farm or something. We do a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't like eggplant that much, but we're gonna try to find as much vegan friendly or as close to vegan friendly as we can here. It's very difficult. This is about the most vegan thing I can find. And Robin, you got eggplant over there and right. some other stuff that's close to it. What do you think? It's a very beautiful church here in Amalfi, the city of Amalfi on the Amalfi Coast. Amalfi at night. We're at the ferry to Positano, another awesome city in the Amalfi Coast. You excited to see Positano, Robin? Yes, very. That's Positano right there. Well, we got our chairs. They're way back here. We would have liked something up there, but they really sell out. So one thing I would recommend, and we didn't know this, is that you book your chair. You can book your chairs ahead of time. And if we would have done that, we probably would have been closer to the ocean. So if you'd like to be closer to the ocean, you probably need to book your chairs ahead of time. fun relaxing on the beach but we're gonna take a look around the town here see what Positano has to offer you can see that in the summertime probably especially after the whole COVID thing pretty crowded here in Positano and probably September sometime around there and after it's probably not as crowded. These guys are playing water polo with kayaks. We actually went to Amalfi because we couldn't get into Positano, but to tell you the truth, Positano was just so packed that I really think we made the right choice of getting in Amalfi. It's just so much nicer. So I would suggest going to Amalfi, staying in Amalfi. You could always take, like we did, you could take a, a boat or a ferry over to Positano and check it out. But it, because there are some nice views there too, but there's some awesome views here and it's just a lot less crowded. <laughs> Stairs. <laughs> we're not that high up. We're, we're, we're in that yellow building. Oh, really? Are you really? You must have a great view up there. We have a fantastic view. 
Yeah, yeah. I like to tell her start stairs to get to like see that that walkway, and then it's a hundred yeah. stairs yeah. up our apartment. Uh, hundred steps up. <laughs> well, at least you work out. You got to work out that yeah, way. Yeah, sure. Yeah. My legs are sweating, like on fire. Time. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, nice meeting yeah and thanks so much. Big squash. They're so big. What kind of squash? See, local. A See. local squash. Two, ten, twenty. Grazie. 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 Well, they say they're very nice at this hotel. This is the Hotel Amalfi in Amalfi. And they actually gave us this bottle of champagne. So we're not huge drinkers, but. We're gonna give it a try. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Right. Cheers. This to our continuing vacation. I think they say something different in Italy. Oop, uh-oh. Uh, I know they don't say Opa. I think I put too much into that one. What do they say in Italy? I don't know. Salute. Salute. Here's some for you. Thank you. Mine's kind of over flooded. I'll just put a tiny bit more in. Because too much isn't enough. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bravissimo. It's good Prosecco. Buena sera. We are on our way out of Italy and on our way to Croatia. There we are trying to navigate the Amalfi Coast roads. Very narrow, very scary. I turn it more towards the wall, this wall. Alright, you're good. Very, very nerve-wracking, tiny roads up here. This is just absolutely nuts. People block the road. They make a U-turn from where they can't really make a U-turn. It's very narrow here, so if you're not used to driving when it's very, very narrow, this is probably not for you. that traffic gets around anywhere here because it's just everyone just goes. We're out of some of the traffic and now we're headed to Ravella. All right, Robin did some excellent driving and we are in Ravella.